Hello everybody, this is Baboon Banana coming at you here again with another Fortnite video. For those of you that are new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment below, everything on my channel is appreciated. In this video, uh, we're going to be taking a look at how to improve your Fortnite game just a little bit. If you're new to Fortnite and maybe this is your first game, taking a look at my channel here and you're wondering, uh, what do I do, where do I drop, where do I go, uh, how do I play this game? Um, my, my recommendations here is to uh, just pick a spot. You're probably going to die often uh, if you're a beginning out player, but choose a spot that you think looks cool, and no matter what everyone tells you, just continue to go to that spot over and over and over and over again. And why I say this is because, um, simply because you will start to learn how to jump there a little bit quicker, uh, a little bit better, and a little bit faster than most other players, or at least on par with other players that go there often as well. So my favorite places to jump uh, is definitely Tilted Towers and Salty Springs, and then finally, but not last, is uh, is this little zone right outside of Paradiso or Paradise Palms. Um, why I like to go to these spots is because generally there's a, a large percentage of the lobby that goes there. Uh, I've somewhat perfected my angles and how I like to jump to these locations. I know what to look for. I, I know where the chests are going to be at. I know what materials are available. Um, and, I, and I generally know how to how to play uh, these different areas relatively well for my game style, which is a run and gun, push everyone type game style. So again, what I can say is uh, if you're just starting out on Fortnite, my, my number one advice is to just choose a spot. Um, you will quickly learn what spots are pretty pretty aggressive what spots a lot of people go to and and what spot you feel comfortable with you don't need to be uh, jumping into the action every single time that's 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 one way to play the game but I've seen other players play games passively they, they jump to a little less hot zones and they do fine as I mentioned previously uh, one of the main reasons why I enjoy going to the same spot uh, consistently is because you start to learn the map or that section of the map pretty well uh, especially if it's one singular building. I call this building Trump. I think everyone calls it Trump. Um, but it's my favorite building to land to in all of the map and all the game uh, simply because I know where everything's at. I know where the ammo crates are at. I know where the guns are commonly going to spawn. I know where all the chest spawns are at. So clearly I'm going to be at an advantage and uh, right off the bat from when I land to anyone else who simply does not land there that often. Another major tip I can give anyone for who's just starting out Fortnite or maybe wants to give Fortnite a, Fortnite a chance here is um, set your weapons up. When you pick up weapons, set them up in a way where it makes sense and you know where everything is at all the time. Uh, consistently use the same setup no matter no matter how many games you play, whether it's you like snipers first or you like shoddies first or you like uh, your, your med packs first or whatever it is, whatever you like doing, make sure you do it the same way every single time so you, so you build a pattern in your brain like, hey, shotguns are first slots, ARs are first slots, uh, snipers are first slots. Um, and, and my recommendation is, uh, there, there's a, co a couple combinations that I've found that work well. Um, the game actually, I think, understands there's a couple combinations, and I'll, this, I'll talk about this here in a minute. But, um, the, the main combination that I always, always use is uh, AR, shotgun, submachine gun, some sort of uh, lethal or, or med, like some sort of consumable item is, is a better way of putting it. And then generally in my last slot is either A, another consumable item, or B, some sort of like rocket launcher or sniper rifle. Sniper rifles are my favorite in the last spot, but if that's not readily available, then I, I always save those last two spots for consumable based items. Uh, I mentioned early, like a couple seconds ago here, that uh, the game actually understands what what combinations are good or like what combinations people frequently do. So I'm gonna quickly bring up the menu here, and which brings me into my next point here. So uh, what I can say about the settings is make sure your settings are set up good so that they work well for you every single time, and and you can you can make little tweaks here and there but I would again I would recommend that you have these pretty consistent and only tweak things that matter there's a couple that are very crucial to have on um, versus others that I would recommend keeping off so obviously sensitivity this is all preference building sensitivity this is preference I would not put yours at 2 if you're new to the game just because this is the fastest build sensitivity available in the game uh, so that if you cannot control your builds I would I would recommend starting this out pretty low I think the default is like 1 or so uh, inverted preference again safe zones preference uh, I'm gonna go down to the more important options here which is sprint by default I would take this off I find that it lags the game although it is easier on the finger when you're uh, when you're running through the storm or having to run through a long distance it is easier 
But commonly I find that it just gets annoying and that I constantly lose battles because my guy's sprinting and I can't get him out of the sprint for some reason. Sprint cancels reloading. Uh, I would say turn this off just because it gets kind of annoying if you want to run out of a gunfight really quickly. Um, I mean, sure, it'll help, help you in that situation, but for the most part, um, it just kind of gets in the way and it stops you from reloading the gun and being more effective. Tap to interact, I would have this on 100% because what this means is um, you simply have to click X once rather than clicking and holding X on chests and picking up teammates and anything that involves interacting, you, you only have to click it once, which is very nice. Um, reset build choice, I would say have this on at all times. What this means is that your build will reset to the default, which is the wall. And why you want that is again, if somebody starts shooting at you from behind, you can quickly flip and build walls rather than triangle cones or stairs or whatever, whatever the piece is. This is the best, the best ones you have on. It just always resets it. Aim assist, obviously have that on. Edit mode aim assist, obviously have that on. It helps you assist when you want to edit or do anything. Turbo building, this is a must have on. What this means is that you can always hold the trigger or you can constantly hold the trigger when you're in edit mode so that your builds never stop or they continue, they continually forever, essentially until you uh, run out of materials. <clears throat> Um, let's see, auto material changes, the other one that's very crucial in here is so what this means is that your material will instantly swap to the next material available once it runs out. So if you have 50 wood, you build five walls, and then you run out of material, it'll switch to brick, and if you're out of brick, then it will switch to metal. Um, outside of that, I would say keep the auto open doors off, auto pick up weapons off, uh, auto sort consumables to the right, this is what goes back into my other point. This is a must, have this on. What this means is when you pick up consumables, it'll shove it into the farthest right column available. Um, and then Builder Pro, uh, Builder Pro build immediately. This is the, the another one that I would say have on at all times. Uh, put your settings on Builder Pro and then have build immediately on. What this means is that, that there will be no lag time when you actually do do your build. Um, controller edit hold time. I would say turn this pretty low. Um, I have some friends who turn it all the way off. I personally like a little bit of an edit lag time because I find that it helps my build and my edit game. But again, this is preference. I would recommend going into a custom lobby or a, a creative mode and tweaking around with this a little bit so you can fully understand what it does. And you'll feel a difference the lower you turn it. Um, it's, it's simply just the, the lag in which you want to edit your pieces again. Uh, vibration, again, all preference. The very last thing I can say about Fortnite is that it is not your typical run and gun type of game. Anyone can point a trigger in Call of Duty and shoot somebody because they're a noob and they have low health. Fortnite has almost, it's a, the thing that makes Fortnite so complex and, and so great is that it has this like third element besides running and gunning and shooting, which is building. You can have the greatest shot in the world in Fortnite and, and have like the best sniper shot and the best AR shot and the best connection in the world, but if you cannot simply build, you are you are going to lose. You're going to lose gunfights often and and regularly just simply because someone can outbuild you and outplay you, and he understands what kind of builds he's doing, and uh, he can do them quickly. He can make edits quick. Good builders can get places higher than you and faster than you. Um, in general, if you can't build in Fortnite, you're going to lose a lot of gunfights. And one of the best ways to just simply get better at building is obviously playing the game, but. Um, now they've added creative mode, so go hop in a creative mode lobby and just and just build. Like, just learn your basics, and then once you learn the basics, work on some of that crazy stuff. You don't need to be the greatest builder off the bat. If you can build a wall and a ramp, you, you're going to win a couple more gunfights than you would with just building nothing. Um, well, that's going to go ahead and put the conclusion of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, this video was made for people that are just simply starting out Fortnite. I'm going to put my other two videos on screen here at the end that are my top three build strategies and my top four ideas on how to do better in Fortnite. Uh, this is a couple more tips and tricks video. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Till next time, this has been your host, Baboon Banana, signing off.